that you are here today. Thank you for joining Speech to Londa once again. I hope that you came across a post that I had shared earlier this week and it was actually a reel, but you know that reel was about technically about, um, well it wasn't a reel, but I wanted it to be a reel, but it ended up taking about eight minutes, eight or nine minutes before I was finished with sharing the message and so um, I wanted to talk to you all about uh, the message and just kind of go a little bit more into depth in uh, what God has shared with me but there was a particular individual who had posted on social media and her words were I'm tired all she said was I'm tired and when she said that, of course, you know, I wanted to go straight to the comments and, you know, encourage her and, you know, just say that, you know, because I don't know what that means. It could be I'm tired as in I just got off of work and my feet hurt and I just want to go take a nap. Or it could be that I'm at my last straw and it's, you know, I'm at that point. And I really kind of sensed that she was at that point. And so I began to just pray and you know, God revealed something to me that not only did he reveal that to me in that moment, which was a, a few days ago, but he also revealed that to me for my own life. Um, this past week has been quite tumultuous. It has been, you know, mentally as well as uh, spiritually challenging. God is really um challenging me um and causing me to step out of my norm and like i've been talking about this throughout the last few videos is that god is really pressing me and moving me to that that place of supernatural where my mindset is elevated and where it is in a place where god can show me things where i'm not like you know so disconnected that i can't hear from him but he reminded that to me that in those moments when any of us feel as though, you know, you get to that point where you say, I'm tired. And then that point turns into a, um, you know, kind of depression where you start questioning yourself, questioning your life, wondering why you're here, you know, thinking about your purpose or even questioning your purpose as well. Uh, you want to sometimes withdraw because you're confused, because you are, you know, just really in a state of, you know, confusion. And I was there this week. I was there just a few days ago. And the Holy Spirit had to come to me and said, no, I am your spirit of truth. I am the spirit of truth. So therefore, you don't have to be in a state of confusion. And then he began to remind me as well, the same word that I spoke, you know, and prayed over this young lady about her being tired is the same word that applies to me. And that word is, is that you, whoever you are, including myself, we, when we get into those places where we are extremely tired, exhausted, confused, you name it, you are at that place where you you don't know which direction to take because you are tired and you don't know, um, you can't really focus, right? Um, some, sometimes and oftentimes what God said to me is that that is exactly where he needs us to be. Because what happens when we are in a very semi good place or whatever we consider to be a good place, we get into that place and then we, don't really need to consult God. We don't really need to, you know, hear from God. We don't need to talk to him. We don't need to spend time with him because we could just go with the flow. We're not confused. We, we have a flow. We know where to go, how to go, how to get to it. And it is not until 
we are at that crossroads, confused, tired. We've tried so many things and nothing's working or we are consistently going and going and going and don't have support and don't have, you know, that undergirding. You feel like you are isolated and you feel like you are alone. You have that sense of loneliness. And it is in those moments where God is saying, it's like, I got you cornered. I got you right where I need you to be. So you can finally hear me. You can finally take a moment to stop, breathe, and open the eyes and the ears of your understanding to hear from God. Otherwise, you are caught up in the coming and going of your life, the consistent changes. You are, you know, the growth, the movement, the opportunities, all the things that are happening in your life, the events of your life. You're consistently going and going and going as long as things are what we consider to be smooth. But it's not until things are not so smooth where we get the opportunity. And so it's really a mindset that I know I miss. I automatically want to try to fix the problem. I automatically want to get an understanding. Lord, I'm confused. I need to understand. And God is says, saying, no, you don't need to understand. You need to stop and allow me to intervene in your life and help you because he showed me that as I'm moving and growing and maturing in this season, there are little intricate things that he's wanting to teach me. And if I'm always moving and if I'm always on the go, if I'm always consumed with things and opportunities, then how am I ever going to stop and learn those things? He is, you know, investing so much in me to become who he has called me to be every single day and if i miss those little intricate moments those little um, opportunities for him to really speak to me in the quiet so i can really receive it those are the moments that he's wanting and he's wanting that from you as well just as much as he wants it from me he wants you in those places so for me a better approach is to stop and I love this word, embrace. Embrace the moment of confusion, whatever that looks like. Some, sometimes I know for me, I don't know about you, but I oftentimes, I'm so confused when really I'm not. I'm not really confused. I'm just not in a position to make a decision. There might be multiple you know, options before me. It's not that I'm confused. It's just that I have not really come to a conclusion as to what decision I should make. And again, in that moment, stop. Don't force ourselves to make those decisions. Better yet, stop. Release all the inhibitions, release all of the expectations of yourselves and the expectations of others around you and breathe and give God a moment to intervene. And I know sometimes we, we don't know how to stop for that moment to allow God to intervene. And we want to just take matters into our own hands. But I want to encourage you and I want to encourage us that when we come into those places, stop. Don't rush. Don't, that song is in my head, don't rush. Um, don't rush. Don't try to forge your head and try to make things happen because oftentimes when we try to make things happen we typically only make things worse or prolong the situation and we end up having to circle back try again start all over start afresh start anew sometimes that's a good thing sometimes it's you know it's frustrating but waiting on God giving him the room to intervene so that he can give you that clarity that you need. And you'll eventually begin to see that it wasn't necessarily that you were confused. You just had to rely on the God who knows all. He knows everything that there is to know about us. And who better than God himself to relinquish all of our you know, plans and um, all of our time and energy and expectations. We should submit and leave those at his feet and wait there, you know, on our hands and knees 
you know, allowing him to speak to us. So that is very much a, um, a message that I wanted to encourage you because a lot of times we don't just give him that room. I know I, I did not want to, I didn't want to give him the room because I didn't even know he needed to have that room. I just thought that, oh, I'm in a pickle here and I need to figure it out. I need to understand it. I need to make it make sense. God has given me the wisdom. He's given me the tools that is necessary in order for me to make it, in order for me to make the decision, in order for me to progress and move forward. But that scatterbrain feeling, um, that extreme exhaustion feeling, there was a day where I couldn't do anything. As soon as I got off of work, I came home, I got into my bed, and I said, God, this is all I can do. Normally, I could, you know, work on some things, my business, I could, you know, clean, I could do laundry, I could do take take my, my evening walk and stroll. I couldn't do anything. And God was like, that's where I need you. Because now you can stop and hear what it is that I can do to help you to restore you back to where you need to be or where I need you to be. So I'm excited for that revelation. I'm grateful for it. And I'm, I'm even more grateful to be able to share it with you. And hopefully it blesses you and it speaks to your situation wherever you are. And maybe if it um, benefits you and you feel as though it might benefit someone else, uh, feel free to share it. I would love to know that um, this message is getting to people so that when you get in that that moment where you need to vent and tell Facebook or tell somebody on social media or anybody that you're tired, you can also say, I'm tired, Poof, but I'm listening, God. God, I'm tired, but I'm listening. God, I'm frustrated, but I'm listening. God, I'm confused, but I'm listening. And so, Father, God, I lift up my sisters and my brothers that are viewing uh, this message, even right now, Lord, uh, whether it is um, the date that it's loaded or five, 10 years from now, Lord, you know the place of each and every individual, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, and in every way, God, you know who they are and where they are, Lord. So God, I thank you for meeting them where they are. I thank you for capturing them right in the midst of that corner, right in the midst of that crossroads, right in the midst of that confusion, Lord. You are meeting them right where they are and showing them and proving to them that, you, that they are right where they're supposed to be and that it is now their moment to relax and allow you to move, allow you to speak, and allow you to change or help change their situation and help rearrange their even their mindset so that they can think and hear and respond with clarity and with confidence. God, Father, give them the peace that they need to sleep, to rest, Father, and so that they can be their very best for themselves and for everyone who relies on them. I honor you and I praise you, God, for the blessing, for the miracles, um, God, for the testimonies that will come as a result of people recognizing that they need to um, that they need to uh, recognize and that they need to begin to declare, God, I'm tired, but I'm listening. Friends and family, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I love you so, so much. And I look forward to our next video next Tuesday on YouTube here. Love you.